This past year really sucked. My PC broke down. And I couldn't make any videos at all. Man, I think I just should... <laughs> This is the most ridiculous devil costume I have ever seen I in my entire life. the devil, Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub, the Lord of... Yeah, 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 alright, what do you want? I... I just want you to give you this. Wow, a new Master PC machine! Yes, it even has blast processing, double port cohesion and finalized capsulated scope reflection. It is top notch. Hey, you want my soul for this, don't you? Your soul? Are you serious? I'm sorry to break it to you, Bert, but your puny little black soul is not that much worth in the soul stock market. No, I want you to make a special video dedicated to all the awesome devils in movies. A top list? <laughs> That's easy. Wait and see. Ever since first man has walked this earth, I have been here To whisper seeds of doubt and evil thoughts into his ear I am the beast, the outcast angel fallen from on high I go by many names, but there is one you can't deny My name is Satan Hi everybody! Greetings, I am the bird! Since the beginning of film history, people got fascinated by the portrayal of the devil and over the years they were pretty awesome ones. And now that I'm obliged, it is reason enough for me to count down my personal top 6 devils in movies. So without further ado, let's get it on! My name is Number 6. Harvey Keitel and Little Nicky This shows really that you don't have to be menacing to get an awesome performance of the devil. Keitel sells the Dark Lord perfectly and have a blast doing so. Some people just have the right face for portraying the devil. Take someone, put some horns on him, a pointy beard and bam! You have an imposing Belzebub. And Kaitel just have these features. For me is Elizabeth Hurley in Bedazzled also a good pick for a funny devil, but Kaitel just have it. Plus, Rodney Dangerfield is the devil's partner? Brilliant. Honestly, I would not put this one in this list. But Everybody, absolutely everybody I asked about devils in movies, told me about this performance. So... Number 5. Al Pacino in The Devil's Advocate I don't know, Pacino was a very good actor and it was very convincing in this part, but I can't really put my finger into it why I don't like this Lucifer that much. The movie is terrific, I recommend it, but the Lucifer in this flick is too much of a businessman. It would probably tie with Robert De Niro in Angel Heart, but really everybody said Al Pacino in The Devil's Advocate. So yeah, I know it is my list and I should put in what I like, but for this one I just rely on the majority. Number 4. Viggo Mortensen in The Prophecy when it comes to eeriness, this Satan definitely takes the cake. The calm voice, the never blinking soul stealing eyes, he's perfect! Tell other town! As good as Mortensen is as a good guy, as double as good he is as a bad guy. The only thing that bugs me is that he didn't do that much in this movie and he had only some mediocre devil tricks to do, but the presentation is nice and give you more than once the chills. My name is Satan. Number 3 Gabriel Byrne in the End of Days. Since I watched this film in the theaters, Byrne had always a special place in my heart. I think he is a great actor and this is proven more so in this role as the devil. Eerie like Mortensen, businesslike like De Niro. He is the perfect combination from both to make an awesome Satan. Plus, one of the few devils who get to fight the main protagonist. That's definitely something. Number 2. Peter Stomar in Constantine. Oh my gosh, I, I just can't describe how awesome this performance is. 
just at the very end of the movie he makes such a huge impact. Everything screams evil at you, his creepy entrance, the mockingly white suit, the pale makeup, the horn-like tattoos, his performance is almost flawless. Constantine was not a great movie, but this performance alone saves a lot. He's menacing, he's evil, he's powerful, everything I think makes an awesome Lucifer. There is only one performance that is even more convincing and that is... Number 1 Tim Curry in Legend Come on! Come on and say that this is not the perfect devil! Tim Curry got the skill, the booming voice, he got the horns, the hooves, he's big, he's red, he's evil, he's a deceiver, he has a menacing presence, everything, just everything is perfect. And yes, some of you might say, come on, he's not the devil, he's darkness, the evil ruler in a fantasy movie. No! No! You can't put this awesome costume on and not see that this is the greatest devil in movie history. Just look at him! Since I was a kid, every time I think of the devil, this is the picture I've got in my mind. So this makes him the most awesome devil ever. So there you have it, my personal list of my top 6 most awesome devils. Are you kidding me? What? This is your list? This is almost completely stolen from other great lists on the internet. If I wanted something great, I would go to watchmojo.com. Yeah, that might be true, but there are only a certain amount of fantastic devil performances, so to make a list means to take some from another list. No, I want something new, something fresh, something completely original, and you gave me this redigested thing of another great list on the internet. Okay, but I only take some... No. You know what? Screw you. Screw all of you guys. I'm going home. Okay. Hey, does this mean I tricked the devil? Well, anyway, I wish you all a happy Halloween and I definitely see you next time. I'm the bird, end of line. Yeah.